Okay. So, this um, variation, which is essentially a variation of Minyamba, um, is a version from the Tamani and Siddiqui album, um, the duet album, um, and I will link that in the uh, description below so you can have a look and listen to it. It's in a different key, so um, it is one tone lower. So this note here, the first one on the right, is in, is an E, and then everything else is the same distance apart. So you just take everything and go down. Um, but uh, I might uh, also at some point upload a version of it where it's been retuned to the right tuning. You can do that with the software. Okay, so whether you have played Miniambar before or not, that shouldn't matter. This is a separate Kumbengo in its own right. You would have heard it there at the beginning. Um, we start. Okay, we start that bit. So four notes all together. So it's F, B, and, and this is in um, it's in syllabar by the way. So you've got a B flat. Those two together, same as the other mini number. And then up here's the same. So we've got we got a B and an F. So it's two Fs and two B octaves, and you play all three together at the same time. Okay. And then the left thumb again plays that B muted. Actually, it's not muted, so it's just played open, and then you need to play A here on the right side. So that one's muted, so. Then we're going to play one of these triangles. So it's two G's, G, G, and then left finger. It's going to be playing a D, all three together, and then you play just the fingers, so the same fingers. The first time it's with the thumb, second time alone, so. Okay, then we're going to go, so we jump down, all just jump down a string, everything from the last triangle. <laughs> now we're playing E, E. And um, what is that? That would be the B. Okay, so. And we're not going to play them all together, we can go. Okay, so thumb, the E, the B, the B, and then you play the, the two E octaves. So. Okay, and that last. Can mute that last E. Then we go. Okay, so we're going to go C with the thumb here, and then G with the right finger. Okay, so. And then we're going to go C here, and then C here. So. One more time that G by itself with its own so together with the C and then by itself. And then we're gonna go two times E again, so E E octaves E E Okay so far. Okay and also there with that Second time you play that C, so then mute it if you can. So it's the first one like that. Mute it. So okay. Then we're gonna go. So A here. Then we're gonna go E, E, and then to E's together. So there's lots of E's in this piece. So, so so after those double E's, but but we go A E E E A E E, and then together E. Then from there we're gonna go A, 
A here, A here, to octaves together. Okay, and what is it after that? So we go from the top. Yes, it's guess what? It's more ease. Um, then it's E, the right finger, E with the left thumb, and then we play A alone without the thumb. So first time is A with the thumb, E E, and then A alone. Okay, and then we're gonna go. We're going to go E again, our favourite. Um, this is why this piece is actually quite difficult because it kind of gets confusing when all that's so many E's. So we're going to play E and then with the octave, and then we're going to play the right finger is going to go up to the G, but you're going to play the E thumb with it as well. So it's going to go. The thumb stays the same, finger goes up one. Okay, so from the top. So it's A, G, F, and we're, with the F, we're going to play a um, C thumb with it. Then, then it's starting on the E. So E, F, E, D, E, F, D, D. And that D, you play with the octave. This last bit now. So let me play it one time up to there. So. It's. Okay, so we've got D, we landed on that double D. Then we play A. Then we can go D, D. So together on the left side, A, and then D, D, split, thumb, finger. Double C's with the thumbs, this one and this one too. And then we can do it again. So D, 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 so it's. And then we go back to the beginning again. variation show I'll show you which is really nice and it's just there at the end before we start at the beginning again so when we on the D's here we do the first one full and then we go to do the second one because we do it twice remember we're gonna go that far so double D's A and then one D instead of going up to the D like we would we're gonna go A C so it's So it's replacing when you would be going those those notes that D and then that C. We're gonna go instead, basically. So and then we come back at number one. lots of lovely variations that go with it and I was just teaching it in the Basel Music Academy and um, we did this lovely melody part which I'll make a video and there's also um, lots of little variations uh, like uh, and little things like that which you can probably work out quite easily but I'll make videos on them anyway um, and then there's this beautiful melody but as I say I'll link it and so you guys can listen to the original version um, and the beautiful thing about this is it fits really nicely with all the other versions of mini umba. So let's go over here.
Lucy Eyes came in there when you land on the Ds. Instead of landing on the Ds and you know in your other variation, you just land on this version and then come into that one. and clear. Um, let me know if you have any questions and thank you very much. Bye-bye.